Today with the report of an arrest of a former LSU football player accused of a gambling scam that had investigators going back through past LSU games looking for clues. Lead investigator Scotty Hunter details the arrest and the potential consequences. Kayshawn Booty was shuffled in and out of EBR Parish Prison today after turning himself in on charges related to an illegal sports betting scheme. Bet five dollars. Louisiana me. State Police began investigating in July 2023 after an online gambling company made them aware of alleged bets that were made by Booty while he was underage. <laughs> According to arrest reports, Booty, who was 20 at the time and not legally old enough to place a sports bet, made a fake account in Massachusetts and placed more than 8,900 bets between April 2022 to May 2023. Those bets involved hundreds of thousands of dollars, and his arrest warrants claim six of those bets were made on LSU while Booty was a player on the team. Two of them placed on the 2022 matchup between LSU and Florida State. Investigators say Booty placed a bet that he personally would make a touchdown in that game and another bet that he would have more than 82 receiving yards in the game. He lost both of those bets. Investigators say they tracked some of those bets to a cell phone being used inside the LSU Football Operations Center. It's important to note there's no evidence that Booty ever betted against himself or the team, meaning he never threw a game or intentionally underperformed in order to cash in. The former Tiger is currently listed on the roster for the New England Patriots, but today found himself on a jail roster charged with a felony count of computer fraud and a misdemeanor count tied to underage gambling. In the end, neither is very serious and if convicted, could mean a sentence as minor as probation. In a statement, LSU said in part they were made aware of the allegations back in July, but that they have no evidence that any other student athletes participated in the prohibited activities. Now, the Patriots did issue a statement today saying they are aware of the arrest, but that they would not comment further at this time. Guys. All right, Scotty, thank you. Police tell us two victims.